Blue Heaven Holdings and the Freaking Group have confirmed today that they have reached agreement over the terms of the sale of Farad Mashiri's majority holding in Everton Football Club. Uh, the transaction is subject to regulatory approval, including from the Premier League, the Football Association and the Financial Conduct Authority. A spokesman for the Freaking Group said, we are pleased to have reached an agreement to become custodians of this iconic football club. We are focused on securing the necessary approvals to complete the transaction. We look forward to providing stability to the club and sharing our vision for its future, including the completion of the new Everton Stadium at Bramley Moor Dock. Uh, the freaking group have beat off competition from John Texter. He thought and looked like he was in pole position going into the weekend, but the freaking group have been able to complete that agreement with Farad Mashiri. And uh, it's off now with the Premier League for full approval. Sean Dyche spoke after Everton's 1-1 draw against Leicester City on Saturday. Uh, the Everton manager, frustrated with another two points dropped, but said, it's a small step, but it is a step. We've come into the game in the right manner. We've made changes to the team, which I was pleased with, because we've got to find the winning formula. There are positives, but look, we've got to win a game. I'm not naive. Everyone knows that, but there are so many positives today. It really is hard because we've got in so many good positions and had chances. The second goal kills the game, I think, with the feel in the whole stadium. I thought it was a very positive performance from us away from home. We can't get on the right side when the ball bobbles in the box. Tarky goes into a cluster, the ball drops and they get a goal out of nothing. I think they've had two shots on target today, so that's frustrating. You know, I've talked endlessly about people talking about this way, that way. You've got to play this way. People want to win games. I want to win games. So, yeah, better signs today, but we didn't win. I've said to the players, right, don't go away thinking, oh, well, we've played well, almost like a pat on the back. So we go away knowing it's a shift, but forward now we've got to turn that into a winning performance because that's the reality that's what we've got to do. I've read that out because we didn't have any um, any video of Sean Dyche giving that interview after the game. But yeah, listen, Everton led the game and have dropped the lead for the fourth consecutive game. They've got to try shoring up these leads because we can't continue to do it. We've we've dropped another two points at the weekend and we're in a very difficult position. So, you know, if we get ahead against Palace at Goodison on Saturday, we've got to see the game out. Um, going to be another tough one, but at least we have got a point and we're off the mark. Jared Branthwaite and Nathan Patterson stepped up their recovery process by starting for the Everton under-21 side in a 4-3 victory against Sunderland on Sunday. Goals from Butler, Whitaker, and a brace from Omari Benjamin gave the Toffees uh, a victory. Branthwaite completed 90 minutes while Patterson did an hour. And finally, Everton under-18s were beaten 3-2 by Nottingham Forest on Saturday after letting a 2-0 lead slip. A brace from Braden Graham had put Everton in command in the game, but Forest responded and uh, following in the footsteps of the first team, the Young Toffees lost by three goals to two. That is it for the News Daily. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching. See you later.